like a hell cut. Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another video. It is Overkill here, and we're going to be playing some Black Ops 3. Now, right now, I played last night, and uh, I just hopped on, so I haven't even had a chance to warm up or anything. And I'm going to record this game and see how well I do in just uh, raw footages. See how good I can do. I'm going to probably, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the Men of War. Give me some points for that. Yeah, yeah. 50 points for destroying a trip mine, that's pretty damn good. So I'm not my movement right now, and accuracy is not on point at all. Because I am still warming up. Uh, I believe we are playing Team Deathmatch right now. It's whatever I last played yesterday, because I just clicked A multiple times. Oh, shit. Is he really just spamming the draken? I can't believe people actually do that. Just spamming the draken sitting there like that. But uh, I guess that's just the way Call of Duty is. You have players that use skill to play. And players that are, you know, spamming semi-auto snipers. Huh. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. He glitched, he glitched. That was a great glitch. I want to watch this. Oh, no. That wasn't the guy that glitched. Damn. <clears throat> Yo, guys. Let me know how y'all are liking Black Ops 3. I have... Poof, I've enjoyed this game so much. It's been, to me at least, the Call of Duty that has revived the series of Call of Duty. Like, Advanced Warfare was alright, but Ghost was pretty bad. I like Ghost, but it was just bad in hole for the community it was just horrible so that brought call of duty down a little bit advanced warfare wasn't the greatest it was all right and that kind of brought call of duty down so call of duty was kind of dying and i think black ops 3 is kind of the game to revive the call of duty series everybody was waiting for a sequel to black ops 2 they're hoping for a sequel to black ops 2 and they got it and i think you know i think this is going to be one of the Call of Duty games that has one of the longest lifespans. Kind of like MW2, how people play MW2 a lot and they still play MW2. I think this game is going to be like that. Uh, Black Ops 3, people are going to play it. And then, you know, the next Call of Duty comes out, but people are still going to be playing it. Which is going to be awesome. Please tell me I just got my, my thing that I needed. Yes, I got the Outrider gear. That's exactly what I wanted. Yes. All right. So we just unlocked uh, the last gear I need for Outrider, uh, the Hornet gear. So now we have the hero things unlocked for her. We need to do it for the rest of the characters, and then we'll be able to unlock the challenges for hero, and we can potentially get to hero stuff. But I just finished Outrider, so now I can move on to someone else. I didn't think I was gonna do that. <laughs> I wasn't even going for it. I guess that not going for it actually lets you or gives you, I don't know. When I don't go for things, I, I don't know, I actually get them. When I'm going for something, like a challenge or something, I never get it. Let's wait for this person here. This person here. Oh, okay. I got a battle. I don't know what that was on the right side. Camo? Battle camo for my Man of War. Dude, the Man of War is such a beast. I love this gun. Let's do that real quick. There we go. And one thing, a lot of people don't like the kick on the Man of War, but I like it because when you're shooting at someone in their chest and they hit you with the bullet and you flinch up while you're shooting... It jumps up, and most of the time it jumps up and gets you a headshot, which kills the enemy way quicker than it would have without a headshot. Probably like a one or two bullet difference. So that actually really does help. I really, I think the Man of War is basically the Black Ops 3's version of a the ACR. I know that's a lot to say, but this gun is fucking amazing. There's a guy right there. Got him. Here, let's use the vision pulse real quick. Oh, shit! Where is he? There he is. I can hardly see him. Because I was all bloody. That's okay, I got killed from behind. 
We're 21 and 7 right now. I would not like to have seven deaths at the moment, but sometimes that's just the way the cookie the cookie cookie the cookie crumbles. Uh especially for a warm-up game, I expect a lot of deaths, but I also expect a lot of kills. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, let's just chill out for a little bit. I want to throw that right there because I expect someone to be up there. But no one's there. Alright, here, let's get up in this window real quick before Okay, never mind. Teammate beat me to it. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm gonna look over this way. My teammate went over to the right. But I'm gonna go this way. Found him. Boom! Final kill, baby. 24 and 7. First game on. Not even a warm up or anything. And I actually recorded it. Let's watch this kill. I hit the wall. Whatever. Uh, look at that sexy paint job. That paint job I call Purple Tiger, boys. Purple Tiger. Well, awesome. And I unlocked the last gear for the Outrider. Got first place. Got a 3.43 KD ratio and got final kill. And I wasn't even warmed up. Oh, man, that's awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the Black Ops 3 gameplay and the live gameplay. We're going to actually have some funny moments and some skits coming out soon. So stay tuned. Again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out.